Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to attach a rule to a running EC2 machine. Now in this video we are going to understand two things. If a rule is already attached then what exactly this lambda function is going to do for you it is going to replace that rule. Or if the rule is not there then it is going to attach that new rule to the EC2 which is in the running state. So for this demo the prerequisites are first we need the EC2 machine and the second thing which we need is the IAM role. Create those things one by one. So the first thing which I am going to do I am going to create a EC2 machine. But okay let's do one thing let's go to the IAM and create a IAM role first. Now here we have the IAM console and this is the role and I need to go to the role create role here I need to select the AWS service and in the use case I'm going to select the EC2 I can simply go and select EC2 and EC2 role for AWS system manager let me click on next next here I need to give the role name so EC2 role let me create a role It is not going to take much time okay now my role is created so here if you can see ec2 dash role so this role is created and i need the profile arn so let me copy this thing and let me paste it in a notepad because this is something we require when we are going to create our lambda function now let me go to the ec2 console and create one instance Okay, there is already one instance which is in stop state. So I'm going to use this instance only. So let me go and click on start instance. Okay, let me select my instance and let me go to the action. Go to the security modify I am role. Okay, this option is not highlighted. So let me refresh. Okay, my machine is in the running state. What I need to do is I need to go to the action, go to the security modify I am role. Here there is no role which is attached to this machine at the moment and if I need to attach a role I can simply click on this and I can see my role here and I can attach it from here. Okay, but I'm not going to do it from here. What I need to do is I need to do this thing from the lambda function. Okay, so I have the role with me. I have the instance with me. So let me copy the instance ID because this is something we also require. Let me click on the instance ID. Now we have two things. First thing we have the role name and the second thing we have the instance ID. Next step is to go to the lambda. So let me click on lambda. Let me open it in a new tab. Here I'm going to create one function. So I'm going to do each and everything from the scratch. Even I'm going to write the function step by step so that you guys can also understand what exactly the line is going to do so in the function i'm going to write multiple lines so i will explain each and every line to you now here i need to go to the function create function here i have couple of options so i will go with the default option and here let me give the name so ec2 role or something whatever the name you like you can give in the runtime we are going to select the python here we have the other options as well like the advanced setting where we can you know give the role and everything this lambda okay let me click on create function now here the lambda when we are going to run a script from the lambda what we need is we also need access to the ec2 so we need to provide it somewhere now where i'm going to provide that information in the configuration okay now here i have the lambda role which is created and this is the code snippet where i'm going to write my code and this is the configuration so the first thing which i need to do is the role which is attached to this lambda function let me click on this i need to provide permission to this role and why i need to do that otherwise i will get the permission denied error message here we have the lambda basic permission basic executable permission and here is the one here what i need to do is i need to provide the ec2 permission as well so I'm going to the add permission attach policy but for this demo purpose I'm going to attach the full admin access but in the production don't do that 
just attach the policy whichever is required like in this case ec2 is required so we can only go with the ec2 okay now let me go back to the my lambda function and after that one more thing which i need to do is here is the timeout so this timeout is something when i'm going to execute my lambda code so it need to execute within three seconds and if it is not going to do that what will happen it is going to generate the error message so i need to update the timing of this as well let me give three minutes something no other setting i need to update now i need to go to the code and i need to start writing my code from here let me delete the default thing which we have so the first thing which we need is to import the boto3 and after that what we need to do is we need to write the function so this is going to be lambda handler now from where this information is coming this is the one now what exactly this thing is this is the runtime setting so if you see here in the handler we have the lambda function so that is nothing but the name of the file lambda function so if you are going to give any customized name to your file so you need to update this setting as well and after that lambda handler now again if you are giving some other name here let let's suppose create ec2 role now this is the role or this is the function name which i'm updating right now so i need to update this setting as well otherwise it is not going to run okay now let me change it to this thing now here we need two things one is the event and the other one is the context okay now let me also open the porto3 documentation because we need information from there so python porto3 let me open this one this is the official documentation we have and where we have all the services listed so let me go to the available service and what we need we need the ec2 service here it is let me click on that import boto3 and we also need to create a client so this is something we have already done import boto3 we are done with this thing we need to create a client and that is something we are going to create from here okay now the first thing we need to give the event now in the event what exactly i need to give i need to give the information which i want to trigger so what information i want to trigger what exactly i need to do i need to associate a role to the ec2 machine so for that i need to look for the associate role do we have see associate i am profile here let me click on that associate an im instance profile with the running or stop instances and here it is also telling you that more than one you cannot attach so that is a global role if you want to attach a role you can attach a single role to a ec2 machine single ec2 machine and here we have the request syntax which says client associate this one instance im profile instance id here it says this thing is required instance id is also required and if we are going to scroll down we have the example as well that is something we can use it it's just that we are going to customize as per our requirement okay now here we need two things one let me scroll up a little bit one is the im instance profile and the other one is the instance id so these two things we need so let me start writing my function in such a way like the first thing which i need is the instance id and this is event dot get and here i'm going to mention this is going to be instance id now the next thing is let me give a name new i am role or something and again the event is going to be get and here we need to provide the new i am role now here i'm going to add one condition like if not instance id or not new i am role then it is going to generate a error message so what exactly i'm doing 
I'm telling if these two informations are not there, then it is going to generate an error message. So I'm using a if condition here. Okay. Now let me do a return. And then whatever the status code I need to provide. So status code we can have something like um, wh whatever we need to provide. So 400 is the status code which I need to provide. And after that in the body I can also write down some message. like missing something missing instance id or new im role in the event something like this now what will happen if one of this information is provided it is going to return me this error message if none of the information is provided then again it is going to return me this error message so we need to provide both the information Okay, till this point, I'm done with the first part of my code. It's just the 20% of the code I have completed where I have created one of the if statement. If instance ID is not provided, then it is going to generate this error. If new role is not provided, then it is going to generate a error message. From this line, what we need to do is we need to create the client information. So from where we are getting the client information. Okay let me go to the ec2 and then the client so this is the client information okay let me go back and let me write it down here so we can also customize this name if we want to so let, let's suppose ec2 underscore client this is the name which i need to provide so this is a variable and this is now the next thing which i need to do is i am going to use the try and accept statement so try now what I need to do is I need to try something and what I need to try I need to check whether the role is associated or not. If the role is associated then it's okay it is going to replace the role. If the role is not there what it is going to do is it is going to attach the role. Now if I go to my EC2 machine this is my EC2 machine and if I go to the action in the security modify IAM role there is no role attached to this one. Okay. Let me go back here. So in the try, I'm going to write that statement only. So EC2 underscore client. So this is the one which I have created above dot whatever we have it here. So let me go back. Here it is. So what exactly it is? Associate this thing. Let me copy it instance profile and then we need to provide two parameter what two parameter we need to provide one is the im instance profile information so let me copy this one let me provide it here im instance profile we need to provide so here we also need to copy this thing arn and name so both the information we need to provide or we can provide with a single information that is also going to work ARN is equal to string. Now in the ARN, what I'm going to type this thing new role. This is the variable which I have created above. I'm going to pass that information here. And from here, I'm also going to close the curly braces. Now the next thing which I need to provide that is the instance ID. So again, I'm going to copy the instance ID from here. Let me copy this one. Now this is again a string and in the string what we need to provide this instance ID. So here the bracket is open and we need to close that bracket as well. Okay, we are done. So here in the try statement, I'm using the client EC2 client which I have created above associate I am instance profile which is coming from here and in this we have the two required information so see instance ID and the I am instance profile and those information I am passing with the help of the event which we have created above 
now if we have both the information again we can have some kind of validation here so what we are going to do is we are going to return now what exactly I need to return some message which is going to tell me okay it is okay or something like that like, like the same thing we have created above this thing we are going to create the same thing so let, let me copy this thing return and here the status code is going to be 200 and here I am going to tell okay some message like successfully created something like this updated I am role for the instance and if we need to provide the instance here whatever the instance we are using we can also do that by saying this thing instance id the curly braces done and yes now till this point if it is going to associate the im role then it is going to generate this message but what if if the im role or there is some problem with it so we also need to create some kind of exception here so we need to ex accept exception as e and here if again i need to return something i can do that so for the return i can you know copy this message and i can go here return whatever the message i need to provide i can provide it here so return is going to be something like 500 or something or i would say error simple error or if i need to write more i can do that or error updating the im or something like role okay so we are done we are done with this we have write down our script our lambda function so the first one it is going to check whether we have the instance id or the role provided or not if it is not provided then it is going to generate 400 error message then it is going to attach the role now here it is going to do two things if the role is there then it is going to update that role to the ec2 machine if the role is not there then it is going to attach that role and it is also going to return this message after that if let's suppose there is some problem while updating the role then it is going to return this thing Now let me click on save, deploy. Now here we need to go to the test. Now in the test we need to configure a new test. So here whatever I am going to write, I need to write it in the JSON format. So let me give a test name. So test, whatever the name you want to provide, you can provide it here. And here we need to provide in the JSON format. So we already have the key. So key is what? Instance underscore ID. Okay and here in the value we need to provide the instance id so we already have that information here done third one we don't require because we all mm, only need to provide two information and the second one is new im role and here we need to provide the arn so here we have the arn done and we need to remove this thing let me save it we are done let's do the testing now here if we see we get the response 200 that means our lambda function successfully executed and if i go to the instance refresh this thing and go to okay let me scroll up a little bit go to the security see we have the im role attached to the machine Thank you.